we go. The lights are coming on now. Three, four, five lights. And it's a lights out here in Imola for rain two of GRS's uh, at the back. Adam Lapage gets a great start, but seems like there was a connection issue with him there. As straight away off the bat, one of the McLarens is straight reined into the wall. As into turn one, Matthew Smith takes the lead off of Nathan Pearson. He's been flipped by one of the Rebels from behind. And that's going to send them both spinning round into turn one there. And we are away here in Australia. So, of course, a very short uh, thing there. Where I'm going to have to be able to. And there's a little bit of a collision at the back there between a McLaren and a Ferrari. As a bit of position jostling. As out of turn one, Adam has a big slap of oversteer there. A long cold and we are away here for the sprint race. Everyone getting a uh, pretty even start. However, Harry Pell, I believe that was, got a uh, good start. Jumps alongside Marcus Carlos and moves up to sixth place. As how much carnage is there going to be turn one? There's a Red Bull running boy there. Other than that, it seems like everyone's keeping it fairly clean. And we are lights out and away for GRS F1 Season 4. A good start from Thomas Grant. He's going to be looking to challenge Iron into turn one. Ooh. Gets down the inside, but Iron manages to hang a bit more speed. There is contact there, Quentin going <coughs> off the track behind them, keeping P3 in the Mercedes for now. And I cannot see the lights, but we are on the way for the first Las Vegas Grand Prix. As I think the uh, crack does have a pretty good start, but he is under pressure from the Alpine. As the Alpine was under pressure from the Ferrari behind, who actually made contact and has been spun round. Which is very unfortunate for him, but Tyler is still in P2, while Fatnik has improved to P3. Which is pretty good for him. Cable Babel also in the other Red Bull has improved to P4. Thank you. 